loves and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a compare and contrast of the Chanel Classic Flat Bag in the size Jumbo and then the size Medium. Now, I'm not going to go too much into detail about each of these bags just because obviously I think it's a great bag to buy because number one, I bought it in two different colors and sizes and then number two, I haven't resold them on eBay. So for those of you that have seen my other videos, if I have something that I no longer want to wear or that I feel like it's something I'm not getting a lot of use out of, I will definitely resell them. So what's important about today's video and two things to take away from it is sizing and color. And what's interesting is I kind of wish I'd flipped these two bags and I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, first, let's start off with first and foremost, how much each of these bags cost. So the Chanel Classic Flat Bag, this is the size Jumbo, now retails for $5,900. But when I got this bag before the markup, it was only $5,500 and that's not including tax. So it's now $5,900 retail, but it used to be $5,500. And then the medium, which is a tad bit smaller, is now 5500 and it used to be 4900 So there's definitely been a price increase. We're talking about $600 price difference, um, especially with the medium bag. I don't know what the reason for the price increase was. I don't know if it's just because Chanel has just become so popular. So they thought, hey, why not? Let's increase the price. But both of these bags were actually purchased before the price increase, which means that if I ever do decide to resell either one of these bags, I have that little buffer and I'll be able to get a much better resale value. Not to mention, by the way, these bags, I don't know if you can see, are in excellent condition. I have had these bags, I believe this one I've had for almost six years or a little bit over six years. And then this one I purchased about two years after. So I would say four years and they are in excellent, excellent condition. Um, and I'll get into that reason in just a second on why they were able to wear so well. So the key difference between the two, number one is the price. And then of course, number two, they are two completely different colors. They both are caviar leather. I am a very big fan of caviar leather. The reason being is that, as I just mentioned, the bag wears a lot better over time. As you can see, there's not really a lot of scuffs or markings on the bag, where generally if you get like the lambskin bag, I've had a Chanel lambskin in the boy bag, I think I wore it two or three times maximum, and there were scuffs all along the end, scratches on the lambskin, it just wore a lot easier. When you have the pebbled leather, or what they formerly referred to as the caviar leather, it just wears so much better. Even in the difference between these two bags, just touching the bag, the one that's medium is a lot stiffer than the one that's jumbo just because there's a lot more surface space on this bag. Now, next is the difference in color. As you can see, one is black and then one is nude. Now, when I first bought these bags, this was the ultimate bag that I wanted. I did my research, it's something I've wanted forever, and I was at the Beverly Hills location, and there was one of these jumbo size black leather with gold hardware. It's really hard to come across this combo, especially at the time that I purchased this, it was like the hottest bag. It's a classic, which means it'll retain its value. It's a great look. It's just so elegant and timeless. You can never really go wrong with either one of these bags. Now, whenever you're making a purchase and you're taking sizing into account, there's a very important question you have to ask yourself, which is what I did. Lino, where are you planning to wear this bag? Is it a daytime bag? Is it a nighttime bag? Because obviously the jumbo bag is not meant to be worn at night. I've taken this to dinner. I've taken it um, if I'm going to the movies or if I'm going out with some friends. But generally overall, this is not meant to be an evening bag. It's not meant to be a bag that's worn to a wedding or to an event. I do have clutches and especially a Chanel clutch, which I'll do a review um, on later in another video. But this was not my intention behind this bag. I wanted something I can wear from day to day and I can fit a lot of items in. And there's a lot of space in this bag, which I'll show you in just a second. But anyway, so I was on the Chanel binge and I decided that I wanted to get the nude. So when I went to the store, I thought to myself, why would you get the nude and the jumbo size? Let's get it in the medium size. But if you were to ask me now, after four years of having both of these bags, which single bag I would purchase, it would definitely be the Chanel Classic Flop in the size medium, but the color would not be nude, it would be black. And that would be my perfect bag that I would get the most use out of. And I feel like because I'm filming this video that this week I'm gonna make an effort to probably wear this bag. And especially during the summer because it does make a perfect summer bag. It's just I have so many other handbags that are a lot more affordable and just are really stylish and I'm really into 
stylish one-time piece bags. I've transitioned my taste over time so much. And now next I'm gonna go into sizing because obviously there's a clear difference between the medium and the jumbo size. It's 10 inches in length, two and a half inches wide, which by the way, when they say it's two and a half inches, they're only taking into account this much of it. The flap kind of goes out a little bit once you've opened it up a few times. So it's 10 inches in length, two and a half inches wide, and then it's six inches high. The chain length when you have the double chain is nine inches, but of course you can wear this as a single chain. And then when you open this up, that's how you actually pull the chain down. So what you do is you pull, I always like the front chain to be pulled forward. You open the bag and you pull the chain in. So I'm gonna pull the front chain in on both of these, and then you pull the top chain back. And then that's how you have it as a shoulder length bag. And I actually like wearing it with the single chain a lot better than the double chain. Just because when you wear the double chain, it goes like right underneath your armpit and I just feel like it's way too tight. So this is how I normally wear this bag. It is way too short to wear as a crossbody. And then going back into the inside just to kind of give you a quick look because I don't want to go too much into detail on the inside. As you can see on the inside, there's two flaps to put like a credit card ID or cell phone in the back. So that is the inside of the medium. And then there's also an inside flap right here, which is a super easy access where you can put anything right here. I usually put a credit card and ID if I'm going out or some cash. And so that's the inside of the medium. And then the back, there's also a little flap back here, kind of like a secret compartment. I don't really try to put a lot in the back flap just because it will stretch it out. And there's just so many other flaps. There's no point in using that little extra compartment to put anything there. I would definitely go with this size over all of the other sizes. I think the maxi is way too big. I think the jumbo is a great size, especially if you do want to use this as a day-to-day -day bag. And then next, I'm going to show you the inside of the jumbo. I did a video on this bag. It was a what's in my bag video. I'll make sure to link that in the description box below. And I also talk about a lip filler experience. But I love this bag. I have worn this hundreds and hundreds of times. It is still one of my favorite bags, if not my favorite bag. I just wish I had gotten this in the size medium just so I could wear it a lot more at night. And now going into the exact measurements of the jumbo flat bag, it is 11.75 inches in length. It is 3.5 inches wide. And then keep in mind that it's just this part that they're measuring, not if the flap comes out. And then height is 7.25. The strap length goes to 13.5, and then of course, as I'd mentioned with the other bag, if you do use a single strap length, it's a lot longer. And pretty much it's the same exact bag. It is the open CC closure. As you can see, beautiful caviar leather, gold hardware, and then on the inside, it has that first original zipper. I have never used a zipper. I have no idea what the point of it is. I don't think I've ever opened it or used it. And then inside, of course, just like the other one, has the two pockets on the back. And I can also fit my wallet in there as well. My wallet also fits in the medium, but it's just a lot tighter in the medium. There's still not gonna be extra room. Whereas in this bag, even with my wallet in there, you can still see that there's room on each side if you wanna have like a portable charger or if there's any other little pieces you want in there like makeup, you can fit a little makeup bag in there as well. But overall, my recommendation is if you are looking or deciding between two bags, ask yourself the first two questions, which I said in the video. Number one is, what is your intention behind the use of this bag? Is it meant to be a daytime bag, an evening bag? Or are you looking for something that will get you the most use? And then once you've made the decision on sizing, ask yourself next what color it is that you want. Now, of course, stores will have different availabilities and different options, but if you are spending this much on a handbag, please make sure to wait out for the perfect bag. Don't just settle for a different color because you have to. So if you are stuck between which size or which color to get, I hope you found this video useful. Let me know which one you like better in the comment box below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see or if there's anything on my Instagram that you would like me to do a review on. I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, weekend, year, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.